Hi, Sterling here from Oceanside Film Festival. I'm here with Sagana Grant, our Lifetime Achievement Award winner recipient this year. And uh, we're going to uh, ask a few questions on your contributions to cinema history. And uh, I'd like to start off by uh, asking your opinion of the foundation that independent festivals bring to the lesser known filmmaker trying to find his well-deserved audience. Yeah, these uh, film festivals are, are needed and there should be more of them really because it affords uh, the future film filmmaker to show himself, his work, and get the experience of doing, making films. And that's where they're very, very, very much needed. I really believe that. You know, although I didn't get my start at a film festival, but I've been going to them because I know the purpose of them, and it's very commendable for having them all, so much, you know, and it's, it's great. Um, I wanted to ask a little bit about your career and uh, also about uh, what it is to represent such a strong uh, source of Native American culture on, on the big screen and what it's really meant all these years uh, being such a go-to guy for that uh, exact area. Well, I think that uh, the people here in this country don't know us. The Caucasian people who live here don't know nothing about our people. And it's made my endeavor to get them acquainted to our traditions, to our culture, and to our way of living. You know, we're just like everyone else. We believe in the same God. But we embrace religion, religion of spirituality. We embrace it. Every day of our life, we talk to our Creator. And I think that's what sustained us through all these years. I really believe that uh, if, you, if the whole world had our philosophy, which is to respect everyone here on Mother Earth, regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of the way that they think, we're is individual people, but we're all related somehow. There's a man in Asia that has two legs just like me. A man in Europe has two arms just like me. So we're alike in that respect. Our beliefs are different, but we're related. And that goes from that far back. And I believe that. That's why I call people that I meet younger than me, nephew, grandson. And that's, that's the way we are. I mean, that's the way we should be. The only thing wrong today is that our elders, such as myself, have been neglected. The responsibility they have of teaching our young people about our way of life, a way of, that we believe. Today, you look around and, and you see a group of kids standing on a corner even, or, or in, the, in the classroom. They're looking at that phone. They're looking at that that gimmick there. When you don't pay attention to what's being taught to you, you're going nowhere. And education, education is very important today in today's society. You don't just get a job, you get a career. A career is something that you can always depend on. A job you can lose any time because maybe they don't like you. But a career, they have to like you. They have to give you that opportunity they have to take advantage of the knowledge that you possess. And that's why I talk to my, my younger and younger people about our traditions, our way of life, and how to live it. I'd like to uh, go a little further and uh, also ask, what do you think, uh, since film is really the most popular source of information and entertainment these days, uh, what do you think... Uh, how can it be utilized to actually represent these beliefs and continue on a culture's influence uh, by just using filmmaking as a vessel for that kind of storytelling? That's why I'm in this business. I didn't, I didn't plan on being an actor, 
but I always tried to teach my people. And when I got in this business and I became a little bit known, people listen to me now. They pay attention to what I say. And if they just retain just something of what I said and use it in their life, they can go a long ways. And that's why I, I work like I do in, in the things that I do. I want to make a one-man show, one-man play. And this is what I want to do, tell, tell, talk to the young people. This brings me to my final point right now. And this would be, if you had one chance to speak into one camera that was positioned to influence every collective consciousness at once on Earth and teach them one lesson, what would that be? Is to respect everyone, regardless of what color, regardless of what belief. We're all people. We're all people. We all have feelings. We all know right from wrong. A lot of us take that wrong road. And it hurts us. It causes us a lot of situations, a lot of negative things happen in our life. That would be my, my that is my aim right now, is to relate what I know, what I know, my knowledge. And my knowledge was given to me by my grandpas and grandmas. That's why I live the way that I do. A simple life, but I reach out and I touch everyone that I'm around. I help them in every way that I possibly can. Give them money, but not that. Giving them the information that they need to make themselves a little bit more productive in the way that they live their lives. I just want to thank you one more time for coming out and, and uh, for just being a part of our industry with such a selfless and endearing, uh, uh, not only message, but goal. So uh, I, I, I wish you great, uh, a great rest of your day, a great rest of everything. Um, and uh, I cannot wait to see you in, in your next projects, just like everyone else here obviously cannot either. Uh, Winter in the Blood is my next thing that's coming out. And it's a, it's a good movie. In fact, that's the only role that I really enjoyed. What? We just heard that. Winter in the Blood. Thank you so much, Winter in the Blood, coming out. And until then, we will see you in many more after. Mm -hmm. This is Sterling, signing off.